So I really started seeing the problems back in, I don't know, 2020, 2021, maybe. I started really noticing them compounding. Um, they may have been there earlier. I don't have a distinct memory of you know exactly when they started. But I had things like um, just extreme fatigue, um, needing just 10 plus hours of sleep, um, sometimes restless sleep. Um, my brain would just shut off, like it'd be 8, 9 p.m. And literally, I just couldn't function at all. It's like someone took a switch and just flipped it and I had nothing. Um, you know, uh, breathing issues um, in, in like my nasal sinuses. Um, joint pain and stiffness was a huge one for me. Um, and then like these muscle twitches, um, like when you get the shivers, um, like that, but like whole body twitches. Um, and it would be all, a lot of the time, do a, a friend of mine actually, um, who is a massage therapist and she was saying, I was telling her all my different symptoms and she's like, I think you've had Lyme's. <laughs> um, she yeah. had Lyme's and she had similar symptoms and she was like, you should get checked out. Um, and that's kind of how I even got on this road. Like, oh, maybe that is Lyme's. So um, after she suggested that, I went to my primary care physician and um, told her my symptoms. And she's like, yeah, you're right. That does sound kind of Lyme's-ish. Let's run the, the standard tests. Um, and see what we get. So she ran the test, and I think there's what 10 strands they check for or something of Lyme. Uh, bands. bands. They're only checking one strain of Lyme, but they're checking 10 bands of okay. that one strain. Yeah. Yeah. So of those 10, I only tested positive for one. Um, and so in normal situations, they would say, no, you don't have Lyme's. But she said, given all of those other things you're telling me about, plus this one, I'm going to call it Lyme, so I'm going to give you a clinical diagnosis. And she says, uh, I recommend that you take XYZ antibiotics um, for this much time and, you know, then maybe follow up with this one and then maybe do, uh, did she say, I think she said the Dr. Rolls um, program, mm -hmm. um, okay. but she wasn't going to like lead me through any of that. She just said like, this is what I'd recommend for you. Um, but I had already been seeing um, a kinesiologist um, and chiropractor in one, and um, I knew that he had treated some Lyme patients, so he was kind of my next step, like, let's go see what he thinks. Um, and I knew that antibiotics could be helpful if it was, you know, um, recent, a recent bite or, you know, recent uh, oncoming, but I knew mine wasn't recent. It had been going on for a while, and so I just didn't feel like antibiotics was a good ch choice for me. Um, plus it was like mm -hmm. super sun sensitivity and all these side effects. And I was like, eh. um, and yeah, so, you make a, yeah, you make a really good point there of that. I, I tell people the antibiotics work really well right away. And then yeah. chronic, you can certainly do it with antibiotics chronic, but I think it's, it's a very hard way to do it because you need multiple high dose for a long, longer period of time. And it's there, that, that can be very hard on you, which yeah. you were, you know, feeling that way. So, okay. So we go to this other doctor. Yeah. And uh, he does uh, some um, muscle testing for me. Uh, he tries, he has like this whole kit of different Lyme strands and side strands and whatever. Um, and he he runs a bunch of tests and he says, yep, I'm, I'm getting hits on this particular one. And he has some homeopathic um, Chinese herbs, that kind of stuff uh, that he recommends for me and starts me on that as well as some um, lymph drainage, liver drainage, that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, so we do that for, I want to say six to nine months and I do see progress. I like, I make some good progress. Um, and then he says, okay, well, we're done. Like I tested you again for that same strand and there's nothing else here. And I was like, yeah, but I feel bad still. I don't, I don't really think we're done. Um, and so I started kind of questioning, like, is this the best method is there something else out there? Because I don't want to go take the antibiotics. That wasn't, I don't think, the solution. And if he thinks we're done. So anyway, I encouraged him to um, like run the whole gamut of muscle testing again. Can we can we test for other things? Um, and yeah, he, because he, you still didn't feel close to your normal yet. You were still pretty close. far away from being what you would call healthy. Exactly. Um, and so he tested again. And sure enough, something else hit. Um, and, but I was just, I kind of lost confidence because I'm thinking to myself, if you thought I was cured and all I had to do was just say, retest me <laughs> and you found something else, like, are you going to keep missing stuff? Like I just, this doesn't seem very reliable. And so that's when I went hunting 
uh, on the internet for better solutions, and I found you. Okay, so you were you were what a year into this process from symptoms or or from yeah, the MD to the other doc, maybe a year in. Yeah, probably okay. pretty close, nine months to a year. And like I said, we had made some progress, um, mm -hmm. and uh, but we just weren't all the way there. And so when I talked to you, um, you were tell telling me about your process and um, what impressed me um, and made me decide, yeah, let's pull the trigger is um, that it was doing blood work and it was very thorough across the board. Let's look at everything that Lyme's related that it could be. And then let's really focus in on a custom treatment for you. like the. Uh, Dr. Rawls stuff that I found online, while it may be good, I don't know, I never tried it. Um, it seemed like it was too uh, generic, like for it meant to cover everybody, but I wanted something that was meant for what I had instead. Yeah, and this is the advantage of testing, like you said, is, is any program, and I think Dr. Rawls' program is good, but it's very generic because it has to be. Right. And the advantage of running really good accurate testing is, I think we found three things in you that we thought were still there. Yep. Right. And so we were still, which, which once again, most people when it's chronic have more than one thing. So it's Lyme plus some co-infections. Yep. And so we set some goals to go, okay, well, we need to put together a unique program for those three things. Yep. And we're going to test and measure, you know, along the way periodically yep. to go, okay, did we fix, you know, one, two, and three, which one did we, you know, fix? Yep. Okay, and so we like, started that process and you liked some of the testing that it kind of a little more concretely nailed down what we were targeting. Yeah, and it was really reassuring too as you were prescribing, you know, I think you should start with this herb or this supplement or this whatever, um, you know, and then we're actually going to switch it up, you know, to make sure that the limes is not getting immune or used to whatever it is and so we can attack it again. Um, and so... Uh, I liked that different um, abilities to look at all of those things and and the periodic testing and the customization, but also the feeling that, okay, I now know what it is and I know that you have a plan. And then you also were really um, forthright in showing different studies that backed up that, you know, cinnamon or oregano or cloves or whatever it was, you know, was highly effective against what I had. Yes, there's there's more research now than there ever has been. Obviously, we'd still love more. But I do like, you know, trying to show studies to go, hey, look, some really smart people have looked at some of this. And we do have some very scientific, uh, you know, reliably validated things that are very safe to, you know, to certainly start trying to see if they'll help you improve. Right. right? And that's and that's, um, you know, what we did with you. Um, so as we're going along, I'll kind of ask, so. How did it go as we went along? How long did it take for you to see progress or feel progress? Tell us a little bit. Okay, we started. And then how long till you started, you know, noticing some changes? And 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 what's your life, you know, like now? If we can go all the way to now, you know, kind of bring me through that journey as far as just your health. Yeah. Um, so I think that I saw, well, I saw some impacts pretty quickly, um, but maybe not like a significant jump in improvement or... I don't know, six-ish months it was probably close. I mean, we, we would see little improvements, um, but not- yeah, like we had, yeah, we had minimal improvements with you right yeah. away. It was like small, little encouraging things Yeah. for that first six months. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of a, a, a slow going. But then I think part of that was that we had already, um, with my previous doctor, had already hit some of the low-hanging fruit. And so now we had to tweak things up and dive a little further. And, um, and you know, there was some uh, inflammation and swelling and stuff like that we were fighting against, right? And my system was very sensitive um, and didn't like to drain. Like my lymphatic system didn't like to drain. And so we had to go very slow. I think, um, I don't remember which one it was. And he's like, okay, like, you know, start with a small dose and then go up a little bit. And I couldn't go up at all. Like, it was like, nope. Minimum dose, that's all I can handle right now. Um, so I think that's also why it maybe took a little longer for us to get rolling. It's my body yes. more sensitive. Yes, and this this is, um, it's a hard point in like other stories to tell is that the concepts of, of doing some killing and some detoxing and balancing that out, we talk about that with everyone, mm -hmm. but different people really do do this at different speeds and different balancing points. And you are someone who it was a little slower 
What yeah. I do tell people is it, it kind of, it, your body can only go as fast as your body can go. Yep. Right. So you were, you were one who we were like, okay, it sounds like we're on the right track, but we're going to have to take the tortoise approach and go slow and steady wins the race here. Yep, exactly. How long was it total with you? Is, we're at about 18 months. Is that kind of yeah, where we're? I think so. Okay, and what are you like now? If I can fast forward it yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. a little bit, what are you like now? Um, I would say I'm like 80, 90% um, to, of where I want to be, um, where I think I can get, I hope. Um, I don't have the uh, sort of brain shut off problems anymore. Um, I have a lot less of those um, jitters or twitches. Um, the the muscle stiffness is a lot less. Um, and in some days I don't have any, which is kind of exciting. Um, you know, the, br the breathing issues are better. Um, but uh, another problem that I really had uh, was word recall um, and I still, have that occasionally the last couple of days today is not great <laughs> but um the last couple of days that that's come back a little bit but so it varies i think more sleep helps with the word recall abilities but yeah some days it's like playing taboo and i have to have somebody else guess the word i'm trying to come up with because i can't come up with it but um but overall yeah i think i'm a lot better uh, one example i like to go back to is even I think we were, what would have been September of the year you started treating me. So we weren't very far into your treatment and yeah. my family and I went to the state fair and we um, walked around <laughs> and we walked, I had a pedometer on because you had encouraged me to get more steps in because that would help with, the, with my joint stiffness. And so yes. I um, had my pedometer on, so I was checking, but I think when we finished, we had 12,000 steps in. And I thought I was literally going to die. Like, I did not think I could make it to the car. I was like, you all are going to have to carry me because I cannot walk. Because <laughs> I remember this story and this visit. I remember this guy. I remember this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. Like, I was like, I can't drive. Anyway, so 12,000 steps nearly killed me. Now, fast forward, um, I just went on vacation a month ago. We played um, tennis, racquetball, pickleball, golf, swimming, um, and I had a record setting day of like 15,550 steps. I think I felt great. Next day, no problems at all. So, Yay. Yay. Yeah, huge improvement. <laughs> so yeah. I definitely, I definitely see it. I, I would like to get all of my words back, you know, and I would like yes. to not need as much sleep, but I'm not there yet. Yeah, obviously, we still want We still have some goals that you have yet to hit, but you hit many of them. It's fun for me as a doctor to, to see you kind of jumping into life as you're as you're getting healthier. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got well, a friend as well that I, I recommended to you, but she had a similar thing where she's, you know, been struggling to even have enough um, stamina to play a game of pickleball. And the other day she played three with us. So, um, you know, it, it can it can get better. It does get better. Yeah. And those are, those are exciting moments, right? That, that it's always fun. Cause you're just, you're just living your life. You're healthy enough to go live life again. And that's just, that's the whole point of this, right? Is to be healthy enough to go live life again and, yeah, definitely. and all those things. Was well, there anything else you'd want to add to someone who's maybe sick and, and feeling maybe a little bit hopeless if they're, you know, kind of looking at this, um, what would you kind of say to them if they're at that point? Yeah, I would say that, you know, going with Dr. Warren and his, his group, they're super helpful and they really care about you. Uh, individually as a patient and they really want to customize something that will help you get better and it works like it does I know it's expensive but it works like so invest in yourself because uh you know if you had cancer you would you would treat it this is like a cancer that's eating you up you know so you know invest in yourself and and it'll get better yeah thank you for doing this and I I really appreciate you taking time to you know talk with me today yeah absolutely my pleasure